Hi, welcome back to a new tutorial and today I'll be showing you how to create a particle system that emits a laser beam that can damage objects and how to have this stop when you move your character. Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick example of what I mean here. So this is using the third person character examples in the blueprint and this here is a cube. Okay, as you can see the 100 on this cube means it's health. So first things first, I have the laser beam charge up, so if I hold the left mouse button, charge gets to 100 and it lights up. And then when I move forwards, the laser beam disappears and stops damaging. Okay, so to give you an example, here's the box. As you can see, the laser beam damaged the cube and now and when I let go, it stopped damaging the cube. And to show you that it stops when moving as well, there you go. As soon as I moved, the laser beam stopped and the cube has stopped losing health. So let's jump straight into this. So I'm going to create a new folder in here and I'm going to call this particles. And this is where I'm going to import my texture, create my particle system and create my material. So the texture I'm using is this base beam and that is available off the Unreal Engine website. I will put a link to that below. It's the beam particle tutorial. So I'm just going to import this. There we go, just importing it through there. And this is the only texture I'm using because I'm just wanting that very simple beam. So now I'm going to create a new material. I'm just going to call this beam mat. This is a very simple material to set up. First things first, you'll notice this opacity is greyed out. That's because we have this set to opaque. So opaque is basically not see-through at all. So we want it to be translucent. We want to be able to see through this material. And then I need my texture sample. So here's my texture sample and I'm going to get my base beam texture. Now I'm not using any starter content so all the textures and materials I'm using will come up a lot faster and I don't need to search for them. So I then multiplied this by a power of 3, and I'll show you why. So if I get my power and I expand this, you can see the power is compressing this laser beam. So if I set this to 3, the laser beam is even more compressed. And I'm going to get a multiply node. And I'm going to get 2 ready for the next step. So that's just holding down M and left clicking. I'm going to connect these up to the A slot. And what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this with the colour of the particle system. So if I wanted it blue, I can have blue laser beam. If I wanted it red, I can have it red. All without affecting the actual structure and gradient of this texture. So what I need now is, like I said, my particle colour. So I'm going to right click and get my particle colour. So this is getting the colour of the particle system. And I want the top one into this multiply and then the emissive colour. Because what I'm doing here is I'm getting the colour data of the particle system and multiplying it with the gradient of this power and that will produce my coloured particle system. And then I want this bottom one. Now this bottom one is your grey mask, your translucency, whatever you want to call it. But really it is your grey. So this is getting the particle colour. So we're going to get how translucent this particle system is and we're going to multiply it with this so that when I put it in opacity, bam, it's all see-through except that gradient. That's the material done. Very simple. Like I said, nothing much to it, but then again, it is a very simple material. But that's all we need for a laser beam. So, now we've got that done, we need the particle system. So I'm just going to right-click and create a new particle system, and we're going to call this Beam PS, particle system, and open it up. So right here we get this quite complicated looking interface, but the thing is, as our particle system easy to create, we're not going to be using like any of these editors. Instead, we'll be doing something very simple. First go to required, this required tab, and we want to change our material to our beam material. And then we want to get rid of this colour over life, because we don't want it to change colour over life. Now go to the lifetime tab. And this is a laser beam, so in my mind you're thinking, well, just laser beam, I'm just going to shoot this laser beam out and it's going to be constant, and so I don't want it to have a life. I don't want it to have a lifetime. So I'm going to change this to a constant. 
And I'm going to leave that at zero. Because what zero means is it has a constant lifespan. It doesn't degrade, it doesn't fade, it doesn't die. The particles stay alive. And for my starting size, you can go for anything that fits. Again, I want some constant because I don't want it to decay over time. I'm going to set it to about 50-50-50, so we'll have a decently sized laser. And now what I next need is this type data and I need new beam data. Because the beam data is the particle system, we're having a beam type. And I want to set its speed to zero because I don't want it to grow over time, I just want it to shoot out. At initial velocity, again I want this constant and I want it set to zero because I don't want it accelerating or moving, it's just shooting out this beam. So now we need just a couple more things and our particle system is done. So we want colour. For one, we want our initial colour. And I'm going to go to my start colour and I'm going to have this constant and I'm just going to change it to a blue because I like blue laser beam really. But as you can see we still have nothing in this preview window and that's because it needs a source. So I'm going to go to beam and source, and there we go. Okay, so that's my laser beam, that's my particle system. As you can see it has these edges here, that's just from the gradient I used because this is just a very simple particle system. And what we want to do on this source is we want to set this to user set, so I can edit this system myself. And then we need the other one, target. Now as soon as I did that, the preview disappeared. Now that's because the target is currently set to 0, 0, 0 and I'm going to set it to use the set so it's still set to the same location as the source hence nothing shows up on the screen because it's starting and finishing at the exact same point. So now I have my material and I have my particle system and it's all looking quite good. But now we need to set it up on my character because otherwise it's just kind of useless and sitting there. So in the next video I'll be showing you how to attach this laser system to your character so they can emit a laser beam. Okay, if you enjoyed this part of the video, give the video a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If your opinions are otherwise, or you have any questions, comments or advice, just leave it in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye.